Hi everybody and welcome to Taming Diabetes. I'm Ollie. Um, today I just wanted to do um, something a bit different. Um, I had a message um, come through my website on my contact form from a lady who um, questioned um, my claims about my blood sugar levels. She said, you know, you're overweight. She wasn't particularly polite, but you have to take these things when you put yourself onto the internet. Um, she, she questioned my claims about my blood sugar levels and how I've got them under control, etc, etc. And the fact that I, I advocate low carb eating. And I thought to myself, apart from um, some of the rudeness involved in the message, she had a very good point. How can I sit there and expect people to believe me when I'm obviously overweight? I'm five foot nine and I'm 19 stone in weight. There's 14 pounds in a stone. So if you're good at maths, you can top that up quite quickly. So I'm very overweight, but the diet I'm on now, a low carb, high fat diet, the weight is melting off me. So what I thought I'd do is film myself over the period of a day, starting with my fasting um, sugar levels, then my uh, levels after my breakfast, I'll show you what I've eaten for breakfast, then my sugars before my lunch, I'll show you what I eat for lunch, my sugars after and so on, so on, so on, throughout the day. Because, um, and then, if I do that, people who come to my site, who perhaps just been diagnosed with diabetes, and I've got sky high sugars, will see that somebody um, like me has been able to do it. And I'm just going to show you in a moment, um, when I finish this part of the uh, video, I'll zoom in on this book. This is a book that um, I was given when I first got diagnosed with diabetes, and the date is in here, it's around February 2013. And I was put on um, insulin and everything. I was in uh, diabetic ketoacidosis. I was very, very ill. I was nearly rushed into hospital, etc, etc. And I've got in the, in the book here, some of my readings, when I took my um, book home, the doctor asked me to start recording my levels. And when I was first diagnosed, my levels were in the high 20s. Um, I'm not sure what that is in um, the other measurement, but it's very high. I'll put something up on the video so you can uh, read it. Um, but in the book here, my readings start at 15.9 uh, for fasting. And then 17.1 after eating, 15.9 before bed, etc, etc. And it took uh, a good two or three weeks to come down to a sort of semi-acceptable level using insulin, metformin and um, another medication I can't recall the name of right now. So I'll, sh I'll zoom in on that after I finish this little portion of the video so you can see. But... Um, the lady also mentioned that not believing that low carbs help, they're not good for you, things like that. Now, when I first was diagnosed, I started eating exactly what the doctors told me to eat. Um, uh, healthy carbs, so-called healthy carbs with every meal. Whole meal bread, vegetables, you know, salad, fruit, eat your fruit. And my sugars weren't dropping and, and they were going up and down, roller coasting. Then, as you see on my website, I recommend um, reading books by Dr. Bernstein. I discovered Dr. Bernstein and so I had understanding about low carb and my sugars immediately started dropping. And uh, I've gone, the stage I'm at now on my diet is that I'm on a low carb, high fat diet. So I'm basically having hardly any carbohydrates. And my body's running on fat as a fuel, and the weight's dropping off me. I've lost um, 14, 15, 16, 18 pounds in uh, just over a month. And I know a lot of that's water retention coming off to begin with. But just go on the internet and research low carb, high fat, and you'll, you'll come to your own conclusions. Um, I'm also seeing my blood pressure um, is at a fantastic level. Um, I'm pretty certain my cholesterol is going to be highly improved the next time I go for my um, cholesterol blood test. And my HbA1c blood test was 6.9 last time and I'm pretty certain I'm going to be 
had a terrific HbA1c um, in, in five, four or five months' time. So anyway, um, my, so I'll do what I've promised I'll do, film myself, my blood levels throughout the day, put the video up, um, and I'll send a link to the lovely lady who um, questioned me. And I'm not doing this to sort of say, you know, in your face, this is the proof. I just actually agreed with the um, with the lady. I thought, well, she's got a very, very valid point. You know, you can't just sit on the internet and make claims and not be able to back them up. So if you do have any questions um, about uh, how I do things, anything like that, please don't hesitate in contacting me or leaving a comment under the video if you're watching it on YouTube or likewise on my website you can comment under the video or you'll find on the top of the website a contact me tab you can uh, get in contact with me there and um, I'll be glad to answer any questions you have so I'll just pause this section and I'll zoom in on this book and I'll continue with the video thanks for watching bye okay so there's my book uh, this is February 2013 um, they were higher than that when I was first diagnosed but I'll just show you there some figures look and um, that's my insulin the units I was on and then we came down to I started hypoing at one stage and I had to come off tablets because I started using Dr Bernstein's advice as well as the medication so I had to come off it all but there you are and this is you know this is my I haven't touched it for two years you know when my sugar started I don't think I have anyway oh there's more there you can see I began to get slightly healthier and I was still on insulin and I've written too much sugar popcorn etc oh, that was when I liked popcorn I remember those heady days okay so um I'll crack on with the rest of the video and uh, I hope you uh, you like it and I hope it helps you. Thanks, bye. Okay, so this is my first um, blood reading I'm about to take for the video. And the time is about half six in the morning. The last time I ate was probably ten to six last night. I had um, salmon and uh, a cream sauce and some salad. And I didn't eat anything after that. And I have set, I think... I've set the date and time on the video. I'll play this back and make sure I have, but just in case I haven't on this one, I'll just show you the time on my tablet and the date. Just so you know. So it's 6.27, Wednesday 27th of May. Okay, so I'm just going to take my blood. I've got my machine there. I'm going to turn it on and I'll just zoom in. Okay, so my finger, I'm not going to be able to get any, am I? There we are. Where are we? So, onto the machine. And I'll set uh, mine as fasting. I'm going to see what it is. I have no idea what it's going to be. 4.9. Okay. So that's pretty low. I'm very, very happy with that. It was 4.6 yesterday. So that's my fasting blood sugar levels. Um, I'll just... Um, I'm going to prepare my breakfast. And I'm going to do a video of how I've prepared my breakfast. And what I'm going to eat. And I'll be putting that in a link above, along with a link to um, a blood conversion table, so you can convert that number. I think that's about 84 or something like that in, um, in the way uh, it's measured in the US, etc. But it's 4.9, uh, the way we do it here. Okay, so I'll cook my breakfast. I'll eat my breakfast and I'll take my sugars about half an hour after my breakfast and two hours after my breakfast. Okay, so the time is quarter past seven. I forgot to video um, my breakfast on my plate and the time I ate it. I finished eating my breakfast at five past seven. I had um, 
I cooked a four egg omelette for myself and my wife. We had half each, so I had a two egg omelette. And I had ham, uh, mushrooms, cheese, sour cream, shallot, uh, cheese and cheese, if I've not mentioned that in it. Um, I videoed myself making the omelette for a separate video, which I'll put a link to, to above uh, this video on my website. So if you're on YouTube, you'll be able to find it on YouTube or go on over to my website from the link below this video and look for the, um, I'll put a link there for the video of me making my omelette and that's the very omelette I ate. And I've just taken my metformin 500 milligram tablet and I'm always going to take those even if I get told I can come off them. I just think they've got so many beneficial side effects as well as helping to keep your sugars low and I've taken one odorless garlic capsule with just after my meal and this is what I do every morning so what I'll do now is in about 10 minutes I'll take my sugars again which will be about 25 minutes after I've eaten my breakfast okay so the time is 7.28 I finished eating at about 5 past 7 so I would expect my sugars to have um, risen a bit by now um, I did eat a little more than I normally did this morning because my wife couldn't finish all her omelette so I helped uh, finish hers off for her so I you know perhaps my I was 4.9 before I took them maybe there'll be 5.9 even in the in the low sixes something like that but um, we'll see so turn my machine on and I'll take them again uh, two hours after eating so about five past nine and I would expect them to be back down to a nice level by then so I'm just going to apply the blood I'll do it there and I'll lift the machine up for you so uh, I'll change that to no mark and there we are 6.3 um, yes, yeah, to be expected by the amount I've eaten. I can normally keep them uh, in the fives after eating, but that does not alarm me in the slightest. And that's probably not going to get any higher. And just to see, I'll take those again in another half an hour instead of waiting um, until uh, two hours after I've finished eating. Okay? Okay, so it's now um, 11 minutes past eight. I finished eating at about five past seven, uh, so it's been around an hour. Um, I do feel very, very full, so um, I think my sugars, I'm guessing um, six, maybe 5.9, something like that, we'll see. Right, turn that on. And let's see, I won't be disappointed where they are really because um, when I first became diabetic they were in the 8s, 9s, 10s and as high as 20s sometimes. So 6.2, it was 6.3 last time uh, I checked 25 minutes or so after I'd eaten. So it's starting to come down again so we'll see what they are two hours after. But um, I don't think they're going to go higher than that, and they're just going to drop from there. So um, I'll come back and check at about ten past nine. Okay, so the time is seven minutes past nine. That's about two hours since I last ate. Um, so we'll just see what they are now. So they were... Um, 4.9 when I was fasting, they went up to 6.3 after my meal and then came down to 6.2. So we'll see where they are now. Let's see if I can get enough blood. There we are. Just apply that to the strip. Okay, so they're down to 5.7. So that's 5.7 um, 
two hours after eating, uh, which I'm happy with. They do get lower. I ate a little more than normal this morning, but I'm perfectly, perfectly, perfectly happy with that. Um, and I just wanted to point out as well that the clock on this is an hour slow, okay? So it's five past nine, not five past eight. So yeah, there we are. So 5.7, two hours after that omelette. And you'll be able to see me cooking the exact omelette I just ate in the uh, video. I'll put a link to it above this one on my website. And I'll check my sugars again on camera just before I eat my lunch. About, I don't know, half twelve, one o'clock. Okay, so the time now is uh, 12.36, just past, well, half past midday. Uh, I'm getting slightly peckish. So I'm just going to take my sugars to see where we stand now. I'm guessing um, mid fives, but um, I might be shocked. Sometimes they do stray a bit up or a bit down. Oops, it's not cocked. There we go. Right, let's see. So 5.1, um, which I'm very happy with. So I'll, um, um, and with the error of margin these machines allow, that could be sort of 5 point something a bit higher, or it could be 4 point something, so it could be a little lower. So there's always a, a small error of margin. Um, I'm not sure the percentage, I think they differ for each machine. So I, I'll um, show you what I'm about to eat for my lunch. Then I'll test again like I did after my breakfast, sort of half an hour after, an hour after, and two hours after, something like that. Okay, thanks, bye. Okay, so here's my lunch. And remember, I'm on a high fat, low carb diet. Uh, so I've got um, just a few loose lettuce leaves, uh, half an avocado, there's walnuts in there, pumpkin seeds and linseeds. And then I've got a packet of, a small packet of um, pork scratchings or pork rinds, I think they're called out there. And I'll just uh, pour half of that pack in. They're just pure fat. And there we are. I'll save the other half for later or tomorrow. And I'll eat that and I'll come back and test my blood in about half an hour an hour or two hours we'll see okay okay so the time is 23 excuse me 24 minutes past one so coming up to an hour after i've eaten that lunch i showed you so um i'll just move out of the way and check my sugar turn the machine on And it's dropped to 4.8. So it was 5.1. I've eaten and it's now um, 4.8, which is what it typically is. Uh, it was a bit higher this morning than normal, but not too high. So it's 4.8 now, so I'll probably test it again in another hour. So that'll be two hours after eating, just to show you where I'm at. Okay, so the time is 23 minutes past two. So we're coming up to two hours after I ate that um, salad for my lunch. So I'll just um, check my sugars again, see where they are now. I'm gonna have to excuse the dogs barking in the background. See where we are. So 4.7, so um, that's two hours after eating my lunch. And uh, I just wanted to mention, I forgot to mention earlier what I'd drank today. 
Um, so when I got up in the morning, I had um, with my breakfast a pint of water, uh, a cup of black coffee. I don't have um, uh, any sweetener or sugar in it either. And I had another glass of water and two herbal teas. Um, which ones do I have? I'll show you. Uh, lemon and ginger. I two of those and one of these. Uh, where are we? Peppermint and nettle. And probably another cup of coffee. And then I've just had a glass of water about half an hour ago. So I'm keeping myself sort of hydrated. Um, so anyway, I'll do my next sugar check just before I have my evening meal. Okay, so the time is half past four. I'm having a slightly early late meal tonight and I might have a little bit of supper then just before I go to bed. So I'm just going to check my blood now before I eat my meal. Let's turn the machine on and see what it is. Okay, so 4.5 uh, just before I'm going to eat my evening meal. I'll just show you my evening meal. Um, so I've just got um, some broccoli, some spinach with sour cream and um, salt and pepper. And this is a chicken breast cut in two. And then I've cooked them in, um, this is a paper, you wrap them in and you fry them in and it's spiced and there's just a tiny bit of carbs in that and then I've melted a slice of jalapeno cheese on top of each and I'm going to put a bit of butter on my broccoli and then I'll come back and test after I've eaten. Okay so it's 25 past 5 I finished eating at about 22 5 so I'm just going to take my sugars now just to see where they're at um, I'm going to guess they're in the, I don't know, mid fives, but I could be wrong, we'll see. So I'll just check this. Um, we'll see what this is. So 4.5, and that's, um, what, about 45 minutes after I finished eating. So, um, which I'm very happy with, obviously. <laughs> I'll come back um, at 22.7 and that'll be around two hours uh, after I finished my meal. Okay, so the time is um, half past six, so I'm about ten minutes early. Uh, but, you know, I'm in the uh, general area, about two hours since that last meal I had. So I'll just take my blood again. I can get enough out. My finger's probably empty after today. And let's see. So 4.7. So that's um, two hours, well, 10 minutes shy of two hours after that um, chicken, broccoli, and spinach with some cheese. Okay. That's the end of my blood testing day. My finger's very sore and I've gone through a lot of strips and needles. Um, I hope it's helped somebody, I genuinely do. I just wanted to get over the point to people out there who may be you know, in the same um, condition, so to speak, as me, being overweight. Um, and I don't want people thinking that just because they're overweight they can't control their blood sugar levels because you can. You've seen me doing it. I'm very very overweight and I've got my blood sugar levels in the um, fours which is in the 80s um, and if I can do it you can do it you've just really got to stay away from carbs and you've probably been looking at my meals and knowing the weight I am thinking he's not eating much he must be hungry I am absolutely full um, when you start eating a high fat diet your body starts burning the fat for energy and the meals you're eating just keep you full for so, so long. 
I used to snack all day long in my carbohydrate rich days. I would eat McDonald's. Or I could spend, you know, I could spend 15 pounds, British pounds on one meal in McDonald's. That's about, I don't know, $25, um, two large meals. And I'd, I'd still be hungry an hour later. But eating like this, you know, you just can't eat anymore. You don't want to eat anymore. And it's lovely, nutritious um, food, which keeps you full. So um, I hope that's helped somebody. So I've showed you the last of my readings. And before I go to bed, I'll probably have, um, uh, I used to take a protein uh, shake before I went to bed with some cinnamon, which helped lower my sugars for the morning. I don't do that anymore. I, I, uh, I still take my cinnamon, but I, I eat, um, I make um, these uh, little treats, peanut butter and dark chocolate treats with coconut oil. And I'll put a link to a video of me making them above this one on my website or you'll, you'll find it on my YouTube channel. So I'll eat a couple of those before bed and they're full of fat and they keep me going overnight if I need it. So anyway, thanks very much for watching. And if you've liked the video, please leave a comment below. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube and I'll see you again soon. Thanks, bye.